It's a rare chance for these children in Gaza to feel free. The region's health officials say 22% of the population suffers some form of mental distress. That's 12 points higher than the normal rate in other countries. And the psychological pressure has only gotten worse since the last war with Israel in May. But a new program at the Tamer Institute for Community Education is helping these children overcome their trauma, not only with traditional therapists, but also musicians and artists. The children are receiving the program very well. They love new things and want to explore them, especially when there are instruments and practical activities. They can actually see and hold the instrument, the strings, the drums. They express themselves through movement, using any instrument. It's an expression of what they think or what they want to say. Though the sessions use simple songs and instruments, they offer a rare escape for the children. We learn music skills, drums, we dance, we are very happy. We listen to songs and we play a lot. I come here and I feel happy because we use the drums and play and sing. Along with partner NGOs, the Tamer Institute is the only place in Gaza that offers musical therapy and it's showing the healing power of the arts. These methods have many benefits, especially as they have been used as a new treatment method in the Gaza Strip and are considered pioneering. Among their many benefits, they have reduced stress and encouraged the children's passions and hobbies. Gaza has been living under a crippling Israeli blockade since 2007. Its two million residents have seen their economic and social rights increasingly restricted, which has taken a heavy psychological toll. Experts say two out of three adolescents in Gaza suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. And the UN says more than half of all Palestinian children in Gaza desperately need mental health support. Gazans are hoping such programs will help ease the pressure on younger generations and give them a chance to enjoy their childhood. Nizar Sadawi, TRT World, Gaza.